Hey guys, it's Gloom. About a week ago, I filmed a really stupid clickbait idea about why it's better to clean in the nude. I know it sounds really dumb. My air conditioner was broken and I wanted to make something funny about it. That was the thing. It was supposed to be a funny video, but a bunch of really weird stuff happened. As the night went on, it got really weird. Terry is legitimately freaked out. Like he doesn't believe in any sort of weird supernatural stuff, but even he's afraid to live here at this point. And I didn't know what to do with the footage. This is also why I haven't uploaded in quite some time now, but I thought I'd show you guys the footage anyway and we could all have a discussion about what happened and why and what it is, cause I just don't even know at this point. Happy day, I'm glue! Our air conditioning unit is broken, so naturally I've been doing a lot of things in the nude, and I've actually discovered the many benefits of cleaning while naked, so today I'm going to show you those things. I know that it's- Hello? I didn't think they let people like that in this building. What the fuck's the point of that? Nobody. Like, they just ran away, I guess? I don't know. What the f***? <sighs> Me. Hello? What the f***? God damn. Are you okay? I just hit my knee so hard. Oh, that was f***ed up. Oh my god. What? It's 3 a.m. Okay. Like on the nose. Yeah, so that's probably like people coming home from the bar, I guess, maybe. No, it's like when weird stuff happens. Like it's like the devil's up. <laughs> oh my god. I hate when you laugh at me. I'm sorry, it's just like, it's not paranormal, Cass. It's just like a couple doors closing. It was just like the AC maybe came on. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm just really uncomfortable right now. Maybe you could just edit it in post. Yeah, I guess we can just add bars. Did you hear that? No. Cass, come on. Okay. Let's just, okay. I'm sorry. Let's just like get this done. It will take like five minutes, okay? Right. The good thing about cleaning naked is if you're allergic to dust, can you totally hurt that? Cass, you didn't hear anything. Uh, this Terry, is silly. Terry, look at the dog. Twinkie, 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 look at me. Okay, that's kind of fun. What the f Terry. Terry. Uh, okay. I don't know. That Terry, was that sounded weird. like hell. It sounded like hell. Either way, that's really scary. Well, should we do something about Terry? What? What's going on? I'm shaking. Okay. <laughs> this is weird. Should we answer it? Mine's someone... ended. Should we call it back? Okay, I think you're pranking me. What? Yeah. And why I'm gonna would check I prank? I'm Cass, gonna check. Prank you changed somebody. You're traumatized right now. No, Curry. I have to turn the ISO down one sec. It's actually from 911. Ugh. Do we call it back? I don't. For what? Like, what are they gonna say? Like, why would they be calling us? It's so fucked. We're just gonna get a different. Okay, I'm done. Operator, can we go to bed? Like, can we stop? Like, can we just not? So that's what happened the other night. I still don't know what to make of it. Terry and I are both really freaked out. And the thing that I don't understand is that when the camera stopped rolling. Ah. Hey, Terry. Yeah. Terry, don't hurt him. Yeah, let me go. Careful with his fidget finger. I knew it was you. I didn't do it, I swear. What the? F let me out of here. So you're saying Carl did all this. That's impossible. I'm a good guy. Sorry to say, you couldn't be more wrong. But how could he possibly do that? It wasn't easy. 
Carl was bothered that he hasn't been in a video since How to Drink a Water Bottle in One Second, and he feels like he was a major reason it was so popular. So, he waited until we started filming, planning to photobomb the shot. If he was successful with his photobomb, maybe we would have just laughed it off and we wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> but instead, as a backup plan, Carl snuck into the bathroom and closed the door, planning to scare us when we came in. Unfortunately for him, I didn't check the cupboard he expected me to check. So he just sat in there and waited while we freaked out and locked him in. And you thought you could scare us from the vent, but tables turned when you saw a mouse. Stuck in the vent, Carl decided to call 911, but it was a busy Saturday night. The Toronto Police Department, what's your emergency? Oh, thank God! Thank God! Hello, sir, what's your emergency? Hello? Hello. I'm stuck in a vent! I'm sorry, a vent? Yes, it's very embarrassing. Okay, where are you located? A vent. What's your name? Carl? Carl, what's your last name? I don't have a last name. I'm a puppet. With all due respect, it's a Saturday night, we have the highest volume of emergency calls, and you are a puppet stuck in a vent. I don't appreciate your tone, sir. Good night, Carl. Wait, wait, wait. What? Can you at least make one phone call to my handlers? Handlers? That's and two phone calls, sir. Okay, just two phone calls. They can saw me out or something. <sighs> okay, Carl, we will call your handlers. Have a good night in the vent. Oh, thank you. Wait, do you think I'll be in here all night? Oh, Christ! Good God! Oh, Almighty, please save me! So they were just calling us to let us know our idiot puppet was stuck in the vent? Great catch, Cassie. Thanks! Then, while I was outside with Twinkie, Carl must have found a way out of the vent that interfered with the electricity, and that's why the lights went out. <laughs> okay, that explains everything except the ghost that spun in this chair and then spooked me. That's the one thing I haven't quite been able to figure out. What have you got to say for yourself? There's a freaking ghost in this house, and it was in this chair? Let me out, man! I had nothing to do with that! Ah! 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 Twinkie! Twinkie! I know we've never really been friends, but you gotta help me out! Come on, us sidekicks gotta stick together! Oh my god, I almost forgot Twinkie! Oh, Cassie! 